The Grand Canyon is celebrated as one of the most famous natural wonders both in the United States and around the world. Recent scientific discoveries within its depths have revealed startling new insights. Situated in Arizona, the Grand Canyon features distinct layers of red rock that provide a window into millions of years of geological history. Stretching approximately 277 miles in length, the canyon averages 10 miles in width and reaches a depth of about a mile, making it an immense natural structure. A large portion of this area is protected as a national park, showcasing the majestic Colorado River, exciting whitewater rapids, and stunning panoramic views. This magnificent wonder traverses four states, Arizona, Nevada, Utah, and Colorado, with the most accessible and popular viewing spots located in Arizona's South Rim and Nevada's West Rim. Each layer of rock in the Grand Canyon represents a specific era in Earth's history, showcasing its geological evolution over millennia. Recent findings from a scientific investigation have the potential to reshape our understanding of the Grand Canyon's past in a chilling manner. This discovery pertains to ancient Egyptian artifacts, dating back to an expedition in the canyon's heart on April 5, 1909. The Arizona Gazette published a front-page story detailing an archaeological mission funded by the Smithsonian Institute, which reportedly uncovered a series of underground tunnels high above the Colorado River. These tunnels contained an array of ancient artifacts, statues, and remarkably, mummies. This significant discovery, while intriguing, has an unexpected twist. Despite the sensational nature of the find, the Smithsonian Institute has no records of this expedition or the artifacts uncovered. This enigmatic revelation challenges our perception of the Grand Canyon's history and raises questions about what lies buried within its depths. Paleontological research has confirmed that a series of recently discovered fossil tracks are the oldest recorded tracks of their kind to date within the Grand Canyon National Park. The discovery was made in 2016 by Norwegian geology professor Ellen Krill while hiking with her students. They came across a boulder containing conspicuous fossil footprints lying next to the trail, in plain view of many hikers. The track-bearing boulder had fallen from a nearby cliff exposure of the Monacha Formation. By using a detailed geological map of the strata along with previous studies of the age of the Monacha Formation, the researchers were able to determine the age of the tracks quite precisely to be 313 million years old. Tunnels with cavern-like structure, in 1909, Smithsonian Institution Explorer found mysterious caves during an expedition. The cavern entrance was practically impenetrable, but Kim K could enter and make an astounding discovery. The massive tunnels extended out from a central cavern-like structure of a wheel that were filled with antiquities such as sculptures, seed grainer, and even copper weaponry. Its size was approximately larger enough that 50,000 people could live happily inside. The Grand Canyon is missing over a billion years worth of rocks. Scientists have been concerned. For decades, the Grand Canyon has served as proof of Earth's history, with each rock layer representing a specific time period. Imagine then, learning that rock layers dating back more than a billion years are missing from the geological record of the Grand Canyon, which is known as a Great Unconformity. Geologist John Wesley Powell first noticed this anomaly in 1869 while traveling down the Colorado River. Years later, geologists were able to date these layers, confirming the Great Unconformity. Experts discovered this when they noticed that some of the rocks from 1.4 to 1.8 billion years ago were next to rocks from 520 million years ago. So, what happened to the rocks that are missing within this strange gap that even scientists find puzzling? The results of this research indicate that certain events may have contributed to the strange gap in the geological record. This event was thought to have occurred concurrently with the violent breakup of the supercontinent Rodinia, which occurred between 633 and 750 million years ago. This period must have been a turbulent one for Earth's tectonics. Did you know that some prehistoric life forms were detected in the Grand Canyon? A cliff-falling boulder revealed these life forms. Geologist Ellen Krill and his students were climbing the Bright Angel Trail in Grand Canyon National Park when Krill saw a weird rock with marks. A fallen boulder along the trail had footprint-like marks. A visiting Norwegian, Krill took photos of these patterns and gave them to the University of Nevada Las Vegas paleontologist Stephen Rowland for study. Rowland found ancient fossilized creatures. Rowland estimated the prince age to be 313 million years old, making it the Grand Canyon's oldest vertebrate trail. It was the first evidence of vertebrates walking in sand dunes. How was this ancient footprint preserved in the boulder if it belonged to an amniote, 
an animal that lays hard-shelled eggs. Scientists dated the imprints to 330 million years ago, estimating their age at half a million years. They discovered two sets of tracks on the boulder surface. During his analysis, Roland found that the fossil traces indicated two different reptile species had walked diagonally across the area. Scientists are now investigating whether these tracks were made by the same animal at different times. Roland also noted a foot-long animal exhibiting a lateral sequence walk, where the animal moves its left rear foot, left front, right rear, and right front in succession. The second set of tracks indicated a faster pace than the first. This discovery is significant because it suggests that vertebrates used lateral sequence gates early in their evolutionary history, a fact previously unknown to scientists. However, the Grand Canyon's paleontology program manager doubts Roland's findings. Meanwhile, Neville praises the discovery, noting that the boulder was in plain sight yet overlooked by many. This has sparked scientific debate over track interpretation, rock age, and the type of animal that left these tracks. The Grand Canyon is also home to caves filled with sloth dung and mummified bats. These caves have provided researchers with insight into the region's past, with well-preserved fossils giving access to 40,000 years of history. Life during the Ice Age was a challenging yet fascinating era, as revealed by scientific exploration. Initially, researchers focused on a cavern at the western end of a canyon, discovering dung balls and various skulls, including those of extinct and mummified mountain goats. The pollen found in these caves provided crucial insights into the plant life of the time. Wood rat middens, containing well-preserved animal and plant remains, served as tangible records of this ancient ecosystem. Steve Memley, a biology professor and bird expert, found condors in the caverns, studying them to understand the Ice Age's avian life. His analysis revealed clues about the megafauna's extinction, potentially affecting the condor's fate. These discoveries are pivotal in understanding our planet's history. Moving from the ancient to the present, the Colorado River, a prominent feature of the Grand Canyon, faces challenges. Despite its current flow, the river has been dwindling due to various factors, including concerns about trout in the region. Dams, particularly the Glen Canyon Dam, have been criticized by environmentalists for their impact on the river's health. If water levels continue to drop, it could severely impact the water supply for Arizona, California, Nevada, and even Mexico. Additionally, the Grand Canyon has a surprising history with uranium. While present in the rocks, tests show that radiation levels are minimal, making the area safe for visitors. However, abandoned mines pose a threat, as uranium mining was once prevalent in the region. On a more curious note, the Grand Canyon's caves house an underground suite prepared by President John F. Kennedy during the Cold War. Intended as a refuge in case of a nuclear attack, the suite now serves as a unique tourist attraction, offering modern amenities in a historic setting. Finally, the legend of the Mogollon monster adds an element of intrigue to the Grand Canyon. This creature, often likened to Bigfoot, has captivated both visitors and locals with reports of sightings and encounters. Whether uncovering ancient caves or delving into local legends, the Grand Canyon continues to mesmerize with its rich history and natural marvels. Do you have any theories about the mysteries of the Grand Canyon? Do share in the comment section below. If you like this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and press the notification bell for future updates on more exciting mysteries. See you next time.